Hello and welcome to Maxed Out PC TV. I'm just at stage four now. Um, everything is running all right. I've still got another six hours of um, leak testing and stuff. Um, but at the moment, I'm just going to give you a quick overlook, see how far I've got, and there'll be another video of me uh, doing stress testing and stuff like that. But at the moment, just have a look at what I've done. This is the front water bay. It looks like a little waterfall. And there's my fan speed controller. I'll be for next. This is about 25 degrees. It's on automatic at the moment. I found out that you can use your phone or internet or something like that. And you can control your uh, fans and stuff like that just for your phone and uh, the internet. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can have it on automatic, which I've got it on now because I haven't got everything all set up yet. Just doing everything really quickly so I can uh, show you what or how far I've got. Uh, so far, no leaks. DVD drives in that bay. Two USB ports, um, USB 3.0 ports, sand disk drive, headphone uh, jack, microphone jack, reset button, so I know what that is now, it's a reset button for the computer, and LED. LEDs for the back of the um, tower, which is like um, when you want to see what's going on in the back with uh, connecting up your graphics cards or USB ports or some sort of device, whatever. That's where you'll be able to see it in the dark. I'm going to show you that in a sec. Here's the front. Blowing nice and cool. These fans here. One forty mil. All on automatic at the moment. Now I'm going to move over to the side to show you what else is going on. Push and pull at the moment. Nice and cool. There's also LED on top of there. Which is pretty cool. Didn't even notice that before. Second, mm, LEDs in the back. show you when I turn it off and turn it back on again. There 
turn off right now. Turn it back on. If I can find the button. Okay, back on. Right, let's have a look inside the case. Sorry, it's a bit jerky. Just going to take the case, side case off. I've already taken the thumb screws off already. See the um, bits of uh, uh, well, actually not the bits, the the blue water that's in there at the moment pumping around the CPU block. My Dominator RAM on the right hand side of the motherboard. I've got to get another two to go there. Fans running nice and smooth and cool. My GX. My GTX 660 uh, graphics card overclocked, but I haven't even overclocked this system yet. Just doing everything as quick as possible at the moment. My little reservoir, waiting to get the bubbles out. Got no leaks at the moment. Nice blue sleeving. Cable management is nearly finished. This is actually linked up to the Corsair link, which is that cable you can see there, that black cable. My well, solid state hard drive. All linked to my uh, dual rad at the top with the Corsair static fans SP120s. Got two 140mm fans, but really I want to get some sort of smoke machine so I can find out exactly how good these uh, are, how they've even been made. It's the first time I've ever seen something like that in a case, which looks pretty good. Remember, all these bays are totally removable. Got one terabyte hard drive in there, which is a Samsung Spin Point 1.0, and that's actually inside, around the back of the, other, the case where I've done all the cable management as well. Um, nothing in the bottom case yet. Gonna upgrade a bit more and see uh, what I do with that. Got the AX 860i PSU. Really good uh, power supply. Doesn't even uh, move its fan really. So quiet. Uh. Just going to show the front again. degrees and it's on a low setting as well not even turned up actually we'll turn it up just to show you yeah. 
Oh, a little bit of plastic ain't taken off yet. Can you hear that? All turned up to near enough maximum. Back to automatic. And it will gradually go down. Listen. Can you hear it going down now? RPM speed. Excellent, excellent uh, fan controller. Really proud of that. More proud of this though. Water just dripping in there like a fountain. You can get different uh, changeable um, faces for that sort of, uh, for the Ek water bay, which I'll uh, definitely be interested in. And I'll show you with the the lights off. Da, 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 da. At the moment, only got one LED in there, which is right up there in that corner there. But um, I'm going to get a couple more because this is not finished yet. It's nearly finished, but not quite finished yet. But I'm going to just put the case. Um, I'm going to turn the lights off, show you what it looks like in the dark. I don't know if you can see that that well. Definitely some more LEDs though. I'll just show you the front. I'm just going to put a side on so you can see what it looks like totally in the dark. I didn't show you the fins as well. Alright, let's have a look at the fins. Let's get maximum air. Excellent. This is what it looks like. With um, out the lights on basically, so you can imagine with more LEDs it will look so much better. I thought that LED that I had was actually bright enough because they're definitely better than cathodes. But mm. right, let's check the lights on. Yeah, I do want to water cool that um, the graphics card because that big long blue tube which is right there 
It would look so much better if it was uh, water cooled as well. Might water cool the MOSFETs, not too sure. But if you've got any comments or any ideas, please let me know. Drop them on uh, the YouTube page. And thanks for watching Maxed Out PC TV.